10 out of 10 for this. Niacinamide cleansing gel, 3%. And finally, there is nothing really for me to mention. Hello and welcome, my name is Mia Sawo, a licensed skincare professional. Today I'm going to review for you the Naturium, I hope I pronounced that right, Niacinamide Cleansing Gel 3% and find out whether it is trash or catch. Let us start with round one, the good. Here, by tradition, as it is a cleansing product, we start with cleansing agents, so the surfactants used. And here we have the disodium cocaine glutamate and disodium cocoa deamphoacetate. Both of them always good. Really, really good product, always a good combination. Nice. N have nothing bad to say about these. Then we have, um, yeah, again, the niacinamide. And, you know, this product is so overhyped. This is basically vitamin B3, and indeed it does play a very important role in the build of a healthy hydrolipid protective barrier, but it is not necessary for everybody. It's rather a mild skin conditioning agent than to help maybe decrease the appearance of some imperfections on the skin, but it doesn't do really much of a difference long-term. So please do not think that you necessarily have to have this ingredient involved in your skincare regimen? Absolutely not. Next, we have the desyl glucoside, and this is a very good foaming agent. This is skin friendly, and it creates a nice thick foam. As you can see, not all foamy things are bad for skin, as some people write on the internet. Next, we also have the hyaluronic acid. It probably is not going to do too much inside this product, but is a nice addition to keep the skin fresh and a little bit hydrated. Again, not going to do too much. Interesting though. Further, we have the Kamu Kamu fruit extract. Kamu Kamu is a very interesting product indeed, because it does have very strong antioxidative effect. And for that, we totally love it. What I, as a professional, do not really like it, though, is because it degrades easily. That means that sunlight or any light whatsoever or air over time can really, really, really decrease its properties. Even during the manufacturing process, about 20 to 30 percent usually degrades in the process. Imagine how much it would degrade when you have it sitting on your vanity. Because of that, a question. Do you see the packaging? It's clear and it's a pump. So air will be coming in all the time, every single time you are doing this. And then also the light will be coming through as well. And even when it's standing in the shop, on the shelf, it's constantly degrading. So because of that, I don't know. It probably is not going to do much. Interesting though. Then we have the sodium ascorbyl phosphate. And now this one, thank goodness, is a stable form of vitamin C. And I really, really like this form actually, because it has proven to really nicely even out the skin tone over time. Of course, let's be honest. This is a cleanser. It stays on your skin for what? Max a minute for those who actually do keep that minute that I always recommend to keep. Well, it's not going to change your life, but over time as you're using this product, you will see maybe smaller imperfections really nicely even out on your skin. No problems with that. All in all, 8 out of 10, I would say, mostly because the Kamu Kamu and the packaging. What's up with that, honestly? Now, though, let's go to round two, the bad. And finally, there is nothing really for me to mention. I mean, let's go through the ingredients I haven't named. Uh, water is water. 
Then we have glycerin and the acetylhexyl glycerin. All of those are absolutely fine, skin safe ingredients. Then they have the xanthan gum, which will make this nice, a little bit thicker gel consistency and it does not influence any of the ingredients whatsoever also is safe for skin, safe to eat as well. Then we have phenoxyethanol, which is a preservative that is so safe that it's used in injectable material. And then we have citric acid and potassium sorbate. Both of them are preservatives that are allowed to be used in food. And to top it off, we have sodium chloride, which is a skin-friendly thickening agent. All in all, there is nothing about this product that is harmful to how the skin naturally works. 10 out of 10 for this. And all in all, it is 18 out of 10. It's a catch, really. Let's look at the price though. The price is a little bit up there, some of you would say. It is $18. But at the same time, the products themselves are also really, I mean, uh, sorry, not the products, ingredients themselves are also not cheap. Especially the ascorbyl phosphate, well, the Camu Camu, I mean, forget that it's not going to do much, so why do we even want to pay for it? So, but the ascorbyl phosphate, those surfactants are also uh, not cheap ones at all. All in all, the ingredients here are the same as in some other cleansers that you would find for about $25. So I would say, comparatively, it is a catch. What other products should I review? Let me know in the comments down below. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button because this channel cannot survive without that. And if you do, I will see you next time because only then YouTube algorithm will show me to you. Bye!